fella, she left your ass six months ago mentally and emotionally. She just was coming up with an exit plan, that's all. You know what I'm saying? That's how men are. We just, you know, we just roll with the punches. Fuck it. We don't give a fuck. Women ain't doing that shit. Fuck that. Women is like, oh yeah? <laughs> all right. And all her friends know too, if she gonna cheat, you ain't gonna never know. Because she planned that cheat. You don't even know. Today is what? February 3rd? Guess what? If she gonna give away that vagina to that tonight, she made that plan in October. <laughs> He was like, watch, I swear, February 3rd, I'm fucking somebody, watch. <laughs> you don't know shit, all friends know too. That's why I don't like them girl trips or none of that shit. Fuck them girl trip. It's gonna be a girl trip plus one. I'm gonna be like, I ain't gonna follow y'all, but I'm gonna be right over here, fuck that. I ain't got shit to say, if y'all need some more pineapple juice, let me know. Fuck that girl trips. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fuck all that. Like I said, I'm from the 1900s. I'm a little different from people, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta be proud of your age, ladies and gentlemen. Be proud of your age. Straight up. You know, because I wouldn't want to be raised in this generation right here. This generation, these kids are the dumbest geniuses in the world. They so smart and stupid at the same time. I don't get it. Because me personally, I feel like if you could fucking fail a class in 2024, Something's not right. Because you got Siri, you got YouTube, you got Google, you got all this shit. How do you fucking fail a class with Siri? Hey Siri, how many times does 222 goes in? That's it, it's that simple. When we was growing up, you know how we cheated? We cheated off of somebody else's fucking page. And it had to be the smartest looking motherfucker in the class. And you wasn't getting the answer from him easily either. You had to damn near threaten him. You be sitting there, hey, yo, Chris, what you got for number four, bro? I'm not telling you, it's the fuck you are. Three o'clock, nigga. <laughs> Remember that three o'clock shit? That shit was lit back in the day. Nigga, be one, nigga, that shit was traumatizing, because when you had eight periods of classes, this nigga would walk past every class three o'clock. You be sitting there, oh my God, I think I'm gonna leave early. <laughs> You in gym, nigga, over there. Three o'clock. These kids nowadays don't got that. You know? Shit is different nowadays. I tell people all the time, man, like these kids, they totally different nowadays. My son come home, he wanna ask me how to help with his homework and all that shit. I don't got time for that. Cause they do math differently nowadays. And I don't understand it. I, when I was going to school, you had to do the work, you had to break down the fucking problem. This is what you had to do when you was growing up in the, in the 1900s. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not now, he, I, I, me and my son, we sit there, we look at the shit together, and he sit there. And... <laughs> so you don't carry the one no more? <laughs> so what y'all do with the one now? <laughs> yeah? Just put, just put whatever you got. Man. <laughs> Go to bed. This shit is ridiculous. You know? Like, I don't got time for that shit, man. You know, and then, you know, these teachers, shout to the teachers. Any teachers in there? Yeah, y'all need to stop wasting our fucking time. I feel like all the teachers should just fucking email us the answer key so that we ain't got to sit here and fucking play these games with these kids. So, fuck, I did this shit 30 years ago. I, let's let me get the answer key so that if he call me over there to check his shit, I go over there and be no, nope, that ain't it, nigga. Hit me when you get the right answer. You know, we both sitting there trying to figure shit out at 1230. Uh, so, uh, the one, because you know, we different from our parents. I don't got the patience that my parents had. My mother was very patient. She was so patient that she had me sitting at the kitchen table till four o'clock in the morning. That's how Caribbean parents are. They won't help you even if you needed help. Fuck you. Figure it out your damn self. And I, my, you know, every time I ask my mother for help, she always used to tell me stupid shit like, I did this long time ago, it's your time. <laughs> Not until I became a grown man, I realized this bitch ain't know the answer. <laughs> Just like I don't know the answer right now. 
So that's what you're going to use as an excuse. I did this long time ago. I don't have time. What do you mean you don't got time? Let's help me. Your parents, like, that's, Caribbean parents raised us off of patience and faith. We feared our kids, our parents. 